All right, my jars are done, and you can see they're up. By the time it's done sealing, those are going to be sucked all the way down, which is going to be beautiful. They will be ready for us to eat. Okay, and if, it, if I was using hot water, I definitely wouldn't be pressing on it because it could already start sucking it down. It would be a false seal. Um, so anyway, now that I have it all done, um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I have hard water. So whenever I use my canner, I always put vinegar inside of my canner so that I don't get that white calcium or it doesn't change, my, the, the, um, change the color of my glasses. Um, I, I put um, maybe around one-fourth of a cup inside of my canner and then I do two, basically 16 cups of um, water so I get around two inches, so I get around two inches and get around two inches worth of liquid in there. So let me go ahead and I'm going to put my what I recommend is make sure you always have a routine something that you do back to back so you don't forget anything for me, I at times I would forget for other canners that I've had, I would forget to put the vinegar inside of my canner, which would make it so that it would discolor my canner. And you know, I'm you know girly, I want to keep it pretty. So I would um, make sure you put the have a routine of what you do. Like for example, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my vinegar inside of my canner, and then after I do that, then I'm gonna put my water in it, and then I'm gonna put my my separators in. And I'm gonna go ahead and start canning. So let me go ahead and get my let me go ahead and put the vinegar in, and I will be back soon.